Hello and a very very warm welcome to all my students on the platform of An Academy. I hope all of you are doing absolutely fantastic. This is Aryaman Chatterjee, your English educator for class 9th and 10th. And students, what are we going to study today? Today we are going to study your first flight, first flight ka first chapter, which is called the A Letter to God. All right, very very interesting chapter, and we will cover the whole chapter in this session. So stay tuned and you know. Uh, be a part of this session uh, another thing that i want to tell you is is your school exams with an academy plus subscription there are flat 10 percent off on the offers of subscription all you need to do is use my code which is ch8010 yes now i'll introduce myself in a bit more detail i am Aryaman chatterjee uh, you know i have completed my graduation from delhi university in english after that i have pursued a uh, post graduation in mass communication from delhi and I have a teaching experience of 10 plus years now and uh, looking forward to many more years of teaching because teaching is something that I love. I hope that the knowledge that I impart to you will add to your, uh, you know, knowledge base. And with that, you will be able to excel in your English examinations. Uh, before we start the chapter, I will tell you about the An Academy Plus subscription feature. An Academy Plus subscription feature gives you, uh, you know, access to unlimited courses and unlimited study material from the comfort of your house. Yes, students, all you need to do is just download the app and you know uh, take this subscription. You will get all of these videos from the top educators of our country. There will be exhaustive coverage of syllabus. There will be practice tests. There will be live test series that you can partake in and improve yourself. And of course, there will be batch courses. Now, the prizes, all right. 12 months uh, ka jo subscription hai, plus subscription if it is normally for 15,000 you will get a 10% discount immediately the moment you use my code which is right there at the next to the arrow which is blinking in red CH8010 15 months ka course agar 18,000 ka hai uh, using my code that becomes 16,200 so you know flat 10% discount please avail it now you know, for any student uh, who is facing any kind of issue with a particular subject and he's not able to, he or she is not able to, you know, excel in that, there is a subscription which is tailor made for you. It is called the Unacademy Iconic Subscriptions. With the Iconic Subscription, what do you get? Well, you get one on one mentorship. You get personal attention. Milega. There will be live doubt solving sessions. Of course, there will be weekly report. Uh, your parents can you know connect to the mentor who is uh, taking your sessions and uh, they can discuss whatever the issues are regarding you know your progress and there will be a study planner also students uh, study tracker plan with monthly reviews that highlight your progress and plus you get all the other benefits of the unacademy subscription like live classes from top educators mock tests and quizzes structured batch courses for the exam syllabus now Again, the price slabs are as follows. You can see one is the regular price slab and the other one is the one that you get a 10% discount by using my code, which is, you're right, CH8010. So, for example, if the normal uh, 12 months subscription for Iconic subscription is costing you 28,000, you use my code, that 28,000 cuts down to 25,200. If the 15 month subscription is for 32,000, uh, you use my code and that becomes 28,800. So do not forget to use my code and avail the 10% discount. All right. So on that note, I think it's time that we start our chapter. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy my session, let us begin with this amazing chapter, which is called a letter to God. All right. Uh, the letter to God, a letter to God has been written by G. L. Fuentes. All right. And it is a brilliant story, you know why? Because it is a story about a belief, it is a story about faith, and it is also a story about you know how sometimes when we try to help somebody and it falls completely, you know, in the wrong uh, way, you know, uh kisi ki help karne ki koshish karte, but usko lagta hai ki aap jo hai usko, uh, you know uh, uska nuksan karne ki koshish kar rahe. So it is uh, it's got a lot of elements that we experience in our regular lives. All right. So uh, where do we begin with? Where do we begin with? So first of all, Lencho. All right. Let's start with Lencho. He is the central character of this particular story. And uh, what does he do? 
he is a farmer all right but there is something very special about uh, you know lencho the thing is that he lived in a valley all by himself like he and his family lived in a valley which did not have any other houses all right and uh, his house was built on a uh, on the crest of a low hill all right so there was a low hill aur uske top pe unka ghar tha lencho ka and from uh, the house you know the view was very very beautiful because uh, the cornfields and the flowers were visible from his house which was across the river and uh, you know very very pretty uh, scenario bahut khubsurat jagah thi jahan pe lencho rehta tha the only thing being that he used to live uh, you know he and his family lived by themselves there was no neighbors that is something very very unique now lencho of course you know he knew his farm very well and he knew what was needed uh, to yield a good harvest all right so every day you know he was working hard on his farm all right and usko pata tha ki kya zarurat thi aur kya zarurat thi zarurat thi barish ki you know every uh, harvest depends on the monsoon of that season of that particular year and that is what lencho desperately prayed for he wanted a downpour a good amount of uh, you know rain coming down or at least a shower all right so every day lencho waited looking at the skies and hoping for the rain and north eastern part of the sky se jo uh, rain clouds aate the so he knew exactly where to even look all right so till now you know we have understood that uh, lencho is a farmer and uh, on top of that you know he is praying for rain and uh, his harvest his his corn harvest depends completely on the rain so let us see what happens all right so one day rencho uh, lencho felt that the rain will be coming soon so he had a feeling you know as a farmer you know farmers deal with uh, the the weather a lot because uh, you know they have to time the sowing of the crop unko sara cheeze time karna padta hai kiske accordingly according to the monsoons because even if they uh, you know miss it by a few weeks it can be detrimental to the growth of their uh, crops so lencho knew the weather very well all right so usko feel ho jata tha agar kabhi barish hone wali hoti thi so it was one of these days and uh, lencho you know he was uh, must have been outside in his field and he had that feeling you know he had that feeling that maybe it's going to rain soon maybe today or maybe even sooner all right and his wife you know agrees with it and uh, you know she doubles up she says that yeah if it is god's will then definitely there is going to be a rain and lencho had uh, you know uh, elder kids and younger kids the elder kids used to work on the farm daily while the younger kids you know you would see them playing around around their house so uh let us move on let us see uh so we have come to the point where now we know that lencho's older kids they worked in the field all right uh they didn't play in the field they worked in the field and the younger ones played near the house and when the mom called all of them for supper everybody together came in and now the whole family was inside ready to eat the supper now what happened while eating you know while they were eating their supper suddenly the rains arrived okay and lencho was so happy you know lencho was extremely happy because he had been waiting for this rain for so long that uh, and everything you know his livelihood his uh, harvest uh, quantity the way uh, his co- crops are going to grow and how well they will grow all of these things depended on who or what rather it was the rains and now during the uh, you know uh, during some time back uh, he had discussed it with his wife that uh, the rain might come any time and behold the rain was here when while they were eating their supper the whole family was sitting together it was a good moment for the whole family and then suddenly to add to that there was the happy news of the rain starting and lencho was so happy and so excited on hearing the rain uh, you know the sound of the rains outside that he could not hold himself back what did he do he quickly went out he left his supper and went out st- you know straight outside and uh, he wanted to just feel the drops of rain on his uh, you know body he wanted to breathe in the fresh air that the you know uh, that the rains bring along with them 
and uh, it was an amazing experience you know and especially for a farmer who is working non stop for hours and hours outside you know in dry heat sometimes during you know overtime uh, for him this experience of you know feeling the cold rain on his body and uh, you know sniffing the sweet air was something which he really cherished and he really enjoyed now after returning inside he was so happy to see the rains that he compared the droplets of uh, the rain to 5 and 10 pesos all right 5 and 10 pesos as they were going to be the reason lencho gets a good harvest all right so what happened uh, uh, when he came inside uh, he compared uh, the the rain uh, the drops of the rains to money and why does he do that he does that because uh it's very simple it's uh, the rain that will make sure that the harvest happens successfully a lot of crop will uh, you know uh, grow because of the rains and it is this rain that will help lencho to yield a good amount of crop and then he can sell the quantity of the crop that is grown and in result uh, you know in return get money for that so that was the reason why lencho compares the drops of rains to money all right now lencho was very satisfied uh, with his fields and thinking about the corn and flower fields covered in rain drops all right now of course you know he was enjoying the whole process barish hoti ja rahi thi barish hoti ja rahi thi and uh, you know he was enjoying the process now he was feeling ki chalo ab time aa gaya hai ki finally you know my crops will get the water that they need and they will start harvesting the flowers will also bloom and the corns which have already sprouted will become bigger and the quantity will grow but there was a twist and what was that twist what happened was that suddenly strong wind started blowing and with that came hail storms and i hope that uh, you know you I, i'm sure all of must uh, all of you must have seen what hail storms look like aur jinhone nahi dekha main unko batata hu hail storm is basically ole ki barsat all right uh, there are these stone like small rock like pieces of ice that starts raining and it is a very very dangerous thing for crops why because unlike rain or snowfall which are soft on the uh, you know plants these fall from a very very uh, you know uh, these fall from height and when they contact when they make contact with the you know with the crops or with the plants or even with birds it's at very high speed and since they are big pebble like uh, you know particles they are not small they cause damage and that was a huge problem because now right now the crops were already in process of yield right wo already uh, crops lage hue the aur wahan pe jab hail stones girne lage jab hail storm aaya aur hail stones girne lage they must have started destroying the crop unfortunately so that was something that uh, you know lencho had not expected but it did happen so let's see how you know he deals with it in the future let us see what happens now the hail stones that resembled silver coins why because they are much bigger and they actually look like they have the silver color you know they shine a silvery color and um, they started coming down heavily and the children ran out to collect them of course the children you know they were enjoying this process and as kids we all must have enjoyed a hail storm ole ki barsat jab bhi hui hum log bahar jaake collect zarur karte hain but that is from the child's or from the kids perspective it's a fun activity but from lencho's perspective this is a very very dangerous thing that is happening and the reason being very very simple as i had explained it to you these are big pebble like particles of uh, you know uh, ice water and they hit at a pretty good speed and when they hit they cause damage and that is why lencho must be really really worried now lencho was of course worried that if the hail storm doesn't does not pass soon his crops will not grow well or the crops are going to get damaged all right so lencho had already started worrying and the reason for his worrying being the same thing that the hail storms and the hail storms which are you know falling down from the sky they will end up damaging the crops if it did not pass soon so 
क्या लगता है आप लोगों को कि ये हेल स्टॉम जल्दी जाएगा कि यू नो इट्स स्टिल गोना कंटिन्यू फॉर वाइल लेट अस सी विल फाइंड आउट विल स्लोली फाइंड आउट ऑलराइट नाउ द स्टॉम वेंट ऑन फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग एंड डिस्ट्रॉयड द कॉर्न फील्ड्स अनफॉर्चूनेटली इट डिड नॉट स्टॉप एंड इट कंटिन्यूड फॉर एन आवर और सो एंड ऑल ऑफ द क्रॉप्स गॉट कंप्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉयड बिकॉज़ Uh, the longer the hailstone fell on these crop the more damage and the damage accumulated to a point where nothing was left all the crop was completely damaged the flowers had broken the the small corns which had sprouted destroyed all right so what had happened now uh, the storm went for a long time and destroyed the corn fields and all of lencho's hard work the hard work that lencho had been putting for months and months you know it is uh harvesting a crop is not a matter of a couple of weeks or a month it is a matter of half a year at least all right 6 months to a year that is what the amount of hard work and blood sweat and tears that is required to grow a crop it is a very very difficult profession farming whoever thinks is easy absolutely not it is extremely difficult physical labor is required and and a lot of time needs to be invested and that is why that is the reason why Lencho started feeling really really bad and he felt really sad because now it was his hard work his months and months of hard work which has been which had been destroyed in a matter of hours and as you can see as there was nothing left to salvage from the fields all of the crops were destroyed there was nothing left to salvage from the field all right and lencho you know compared it uh, to locusts uh, you know when locusts attack and uh, uh, locusts are these grasshopper like uh, you know creatures who feed on um, crops so he compared it he compared this to a locust swarm and he said that even the locust swarm would have left something to salvage on to so even the locust attack on the crop would have been a better uh, you know option compared to this hail storm because now what has happened there is absolutely no crop left okay all of it is gone down the drain now lencho was afraid that his family will starve and there was no one around then there was no he didn't have neighbors so he was now very very scared and why was he scared it was very simple he was living alone all by himself along with his family in a valley they, they did not have neighbors now who would he go and ask help from if you have neighbors if you are in some kind of a uh, you know some kind of a problem or if you are in some kind of a fix you can go and immediately call for help from your neighbors but in this case in this situation there were no neighbors and that is the reason why lencho was really afraid because he thought that now the money that he was supposed to earn through selling the crop is not coming because the crop is wasted how will he feed his family and what if the family starves he did not want his family to starve so that is the reason why he was really scared and of course there were no neighbors to help so what did he say he reassured his family that you know god will help us and uh, nobody goes starving you know nobody dies of starvation don't worry god will definitely help us and lencho assured his family that they won't starve and that god will come to their aid will come to their rescue and what did he do uh, you know on one of the days where he found a little free time it was uh, a weekend what did he do he wrote a letter addressed to god and gave it to the post office in the town all right usne ek chitthi likhi bhagwan ke liye ek letter likha and he went and deposited it in the post office all right so now we can see that the amount of faith all right these lines uh, you know uh, this particular portion of the chapter where he does this it shows uh, the unshakable faith that lencho has in god you know normally uh, we pray to god right we pray to god we ask things for god because we don't exactly know where god lives but lencho i mean of course he also did not know where god lived but he had the faith that if he writes a letter which is addressed to god god will find it he completely had like unshakable faith in god and what happened uh, he was basically uh, you know 
very very uh, he was a ardent follower of god he worshiped god and he had a very very strong belief in his god and that is why you know without even thinking without uh, you know thinking too much about what the results would be if he writes a letter will god find it where does god live he didn't think about all of these things what did he think of all he thought was that i am going to write a letter to god asking for help and that is all i am going to think of and he wrote the letter uh, put it in an envelope and send it to the post office in the town all right let us see if god finds his letter or not all right so he wrote a letter to god describing his situation and asked for 100 pesos what happened now in the letter uh, lencho described his situation and of course we all know that he is in a bad situation why because although you know he had uh, worked really really hard and uh, you know grew some amount of crop uh, only a few days back there was a hail storm which completely destroyed his crops and now he doesn't have anything for yield theek hai harvest ho nahi sakta kyunki crop destroy ho gaye hain and how will he get that money how will he get the money that he required you know to feed his family to buy things for his family wo paisa usko kahan se milta wo paisa usko milta crop bech ke but crop to hai nahi so in that case how can he fix this situation he needed a certain amount all right and the amount was 100 pesos he figured out he must have calculated ki theek hai mere ko ye saal nikalne ke liye 100 pesos chahiye and that should suffice me so that was how you know he must have figured out that okay 100 pesos is what i need and that is the amount that he asked to god to give to him in that particular letter that he wrote to the god now with that money what would he do he would be able to sow his field again and also with the leftover money uske paas jo paisa bachega usse wo apne family ka jo needs hai the fooding clothing sheltering all of those needs could be taken care of so he addressed the letter to god simple and dropped it in a mailbox so ab aapko clear ho chuka hai ye cheez ki bhai kitna zyada faith hai lencho mein he wrote a he wrote a letter to the god asking for help in terms of money and 100 pesos is all he wanted i'm sure at that time 100 pesos would have been a very big uh, you know amount and pesos is a form of currency which is commonly used in certain countries in the southern part of america south of america, south of america south america may use hota hai pesos and there are some countries which use this currency all right so moving on moving on now what happened postman so what happened the postman found this letter you know postman postman collect letters from the mailbox and take it to their post office where the postmaster you know uh, reviews the letter if it's needed now this one was a special case why because the moment postman saw this letter addressed to god you know he must have thought ki ye kya hai matlab bhagwan ke liye letter hai to pehli baar aisa hua hai that i have seen that somebody has addressed a letter to the god so he must have felt it to be a little funny and in the process he wanted to show it to his boss and who is the boss he is the postmaster all right so the moment he showed this letter to the boss both of them you know had a good laugh un logo ko bahut maza aaya ye initially matlab fun bahut funny laga ye cheez dekh ke and uh, the postmaster laughed at first but then he became serious postmaster uh, you know initially he laughed at it but then suddenly he realized you know what did he realize he realized that jisne bhi ye letter likha hoga all right that person you know must have so much faith in god and that thought made him a little serious about it and he was very impressed at uh, you know uh, by lencho's faith and did not want to disappoint him now there was a change of heart in the postmaster why initially he also found it really funny and both the postman and the postmaster had a good laugh but right after that he realized that no this is a serious situation right this is not funny why because the person who has written this letter has utmost faith in god and it would not be fair if that faith is broken in him or her all right so that is what the postmaster thought and he thought that okay i don't want him to get disappointed why did he think that because obviously in a normal circumstances that letter wouldn't have reached anywhere because 
नो वन नो वेर गॉड्स फिजिकल एड्रेस इज भाई हम लोग को पता है कि गॉड कहाँ पे रहते हैं हमारा आपका एड्रेस होता है राइट बट गॉड ही डजेंट नीड एन एड्रेस ही डजेंट हैव एन एड्रेस so that is why you know that letter wouldn't have reached anywhere it would have just been you know circled around in the post office and then just been left there but what does the postmaster think he is so impressed by lencho's faith that he thinks that i don't want to disappoint him ab disappoint kaise nahi karega hum log pata karte hain jaldi se pata karte hain theek hai what did he do he came up with an idea yes he came up with an idea what was that idea he thought that you know what if uh, i can collect the money that lencho has asked to god what if i can arrange that money what did he do he uh, he told his co-workers to contribute and you know charity is something that everybody enjoys and charity is something that everybody you know believes in so there was no problem you know small small amounts people were okay to contribute people were ready and people uh, you know his co-workers and uh, all his friends they were ready to contribute this amount of money and uh, that's what happened you know he answered lencho's letter so he decided to reply him back also and also decided to collect the money from his co-workers and put in some of his own salary too so he not only asked his co-workers to contribute money but he also took a portion of his own salary and added to that amount and he decided that he will write a reply to lencho and also put in whatever money they contribute all right so this looks like such a good gesture you know the postmaster now for me he is a very good man because you know he is trying to do good to somebody am i right so that is the reason that is the reason why you know the postmaster for me and i think you would also say that he is a good person he did not want lencho's faith to be shaken and also wanted to help lencho and took the necessary steps that were required to do both these things usne letter bhi reply kar diya postmaster ne and also he collected a certain amount of money that he would give to lencho in order to help him all right let us see what happens next Let us see what happens next now. Everyone, post office में जितने भी लोग थे ठीक है ऑल ऑफ दोज पीपल दे अग्रीड टू हेल्प लेंचो आउट बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली हंड्रेड पैसोज का अरेन्जमेंट नहीं हो पाया एंड दैट वॉज यू नो हाउ इट वॉज एट दैट टाइम हंड्रेड पैसोज वॉज अ बिग अमाउंट एंड इट वॉज नॉट इजी टू कलेक्ट दैट बिग एन अमाउंट इन सच अ शॉर्ट स्पैन ऑफ टाइम so although all the co-workers and everyone who uh, the postmaster had asked to contribute and help they were absolutely helping they contributed the amount but unfortunately they could not raise 100 pesos so usse thoda kam amount jo hai wo raise hota hai so the postmaster managed to collect more than half of the amount so now we know roughly uh, you know we don't have a exact number how much uh, amount they were about to collect but we know that it was more than half so 100 pesos ka half is 50 so it is more than 50 all right it is more than 50 pesos and uh, what did he do next as he had decided he took an envelope and put that money inside all right put whatever the amount that he had collected he put all of that money inside and also signed the letter as god so that when lencho sees it he is happy to see god replying to him all right that was his whole motive that is the reason why lencho had written the letter to god so that he can get a reply from god and also the help that he had asked for all right so moving on now the following sunday the following sunday you know uh, the the sunday after uh, the day that uh, initially um, lencho had written the letter to god so roughly a week must have uh, passed and the next sunday that came lencho quickly arrived you know to the post office and he was much early than his usual time why i'm guessing that he would have been really really excited you know he had written a letter to god and he must have been really excited to see what the reply was and you know to see what was happening but uh, let's see exactly what is the reason why why was he you know there so the postman handed lencho the letter 
while the postmaster looked from his office to see his reaction. अब होता क्या है कि जब लेंचो पहुंच जाता है वो जल्दी पहुंचता है ठीक है एंड ही गोज टू द पोस्ट ऑफिस एंड द पोस्टमैन हैंड हिम द लेटर and what is this letter this letter is the reply that the postmaster had written on behalf of god and which had the amount in it theek hai to ye jo hai wo de dete hain theek hai and uh, where is the postmaster the postmaster is in his office and he is just keeping a watch at you know he wanted to see lencho's reaction he wanted to see how would lencho react on seeing this reply from god since lencho had arrived early and he was ready to take the letter he must have been really really you know geared up to see the letter now what happens is that when he saw the letter he was absolutely not surprised and this was not what was expected from him because the postmaster and the postman they thought that as soon as he sees this letter addressed to him from god god ne agar letter likha hai aapko to fir aap to excited ho gaye but wo excited nahi hua वो एक्साइटेड नहीं हुआ ये लेटर देख के ओके ही हैड ओनली कम अर्ली बिकॉज ही वॉज ही हैड अंस ऑफ अर्जेंसी ही वॉन्टेड टू सी वेदर गॉड हैड रिप्लाइड और नॉट एंड इन इज हार्ट ही वॉज वेरी सर्टन दैट गॉड वुड रिप्लाई ऑल राइट सो इट वॉज अंस ऑफ अर्जेंसी एंड दैट अर्जेंसी केम बिकॉज ही वॉज इन सच अ टफ सिचुएशन ऑल राइट ही वॉज इन सिचुएशन वेर हिज क्रॉप हैड बीन डिस्ट्रॉयड वेर यू नो ही डिड नॉट हैव एनी मनी टू सपोर्ट हिम एंड हिज फैमिली फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर and that is why you know he had come early jaldi se aa gaya tha taki letter mile aur wo leke ghar jaye he was absolutely not surprised and this is another important point why because here we get to know that lencho had so much faith in god that he was not even surprised when he got a reply letter he expected it he already expected it agar wo letter nahi aata then lencho would have been surprised that is the amount of faith that lencho has in god All right. So he absolutely was not surprised on finding the letter, as he had full faith that God would answer his request. उसको बिल्कुल भी doubt नहीं था God पे. He knew, uh, you know, he knew as a certainty that you know his uh, letter will be replied back. Now, upon opening the letter, Lencho got angry as there were less than hundred pesos. and he believed god would not make such mistake ab kya hota hai ki when uh, you know lencho opens the letter from god he finds the money but the amount is not 100 pesos and this makes lencho very very angry and why do you think uh, you know lencho is angry in this situation bhai paise to usko mile hain bhale hi pure paise nahi mile ho but thoda amount to mila hai why do you think he is angry I'll tell you why he is angry. He is angry because he can't believe that God would not, you know, give him the amount that he had asked for. अगर उसने hundred pesos मांगे थे तो God, you know, God is the creator. He is the Almighty. He looks after everybody, and you know, He knows who is thinking what. Why wouldn't He send him the exact amount? Why would there be any less than what He had asked? God cannot make a mistake in counting the amount or you know or refused uh, is lending his help to him so this didn't make sense in lencho's head he was like ki chalo letter to aaya hai paise bhi aaye but pura amount nahi hai how is that possible god cannot make such small mistakes ki wo you know uh, 100 paise uski jagah kam dal de ya fir unke paas paise na ho is to ho hi nahi sakta hai so I mean what is the problem and that angered lencho a lot all right lencho became extremely angry he was extremely angry and his brows you know become uh, you know became uh, you know constricted and uh, you you know when people become angry they have this expression and that is how lencho was looking and it was not what the postmaster or the postman had expected they thought that you know when the moment lencho gets a reply back from god he would be very very happy he would be excited to receive the letter and whatever amount that is there you know so that uh, you, uh, you know he can be happy for the fact that at least god replied back to him but no lencho had his concepts very clear he had 100% faith in god and he knew that god you know would be able to give him the whole amount and why was the money less that is what angered lencho here all right god could not make this mistake let us see what happens next immediately immediately after uh, you know uh, reading that letter and 
receiving that money he took another paper and he sat in one of the uh, you know public benches in the post office and uh, he went to the window first and asked for paper and ink and then he sat on one of the public benches and started writing something really really profusely theek hai gusse mein kuch likhna chalu kiya unhone he asked for a pen uh, from the post office uh, he asked for a paper and ink and began angrily writing a new letter and put it in the post box and unhone bahut hi gusse mein kuch to ek letter likha aur kya kiya usko post box mein dal diya all right so we are now very very clear that uh, you know lencho is not happy with what has happened all right lencho is so angry lencho is so angry that uh, you know instead of taking that letter home and being happy and taking that money home or whatever the amount was there we'll get to know very soon what the amount was he instead of that sits down asks for a uh, paper and ink and starts jotting down something very very you know uh, angrily on the paper और ये चिट्ठी आपको क्या लगता है हु डू यू थिंक ही इज राइटिंग दिस लेटर टू आई टेल यू व्हाट द रियल आंसर इज ही इज राइटिंग दिस लेटर टू गॉड अगेन एंड दिस टाइम ही इज अ वेरी वेरी एंग्री पर्सन ऑल राइट ही इज एंगर्ड बिकॉज द अमाउंट वाज नॉट व्हाट ही हैड आस्क फॉर इट वाज लेस देन दैट ऑल राइट सो आउट ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी द पोस्टमास्टर you know after uh, lencho drops that you know he writes the whole letter angrily and folds it puts it in an envelope and puts it in the mailbox aur fir wo chala jata hai wahan se ab jab wo chala jata hai when he you know leaves that place and uh, the postmaster has you know had been observing lencho all this while and all of his predictions as to you know how lencho would uh, react on finding that letter from god which actually the postmaster had written and uh, you know the money bilkul bhi unka matlab expectation jo tha postmaster ka waisa nahi hua ulta len jo gussa ho gaya he took another paper jotted down something wrote down a piece of letter and then folded it put it in an envelope and then what did he do he put it in the mailbox and left now obviously uh, the postmaster was curious he wanted to know ki bhai aake likha kya hai is letter mein what has lencho written in this letter so the postmaster went to open the letter and found that lencho was writing back to god why because he had only received 70 pesos all right so ab hota kya hai yahan pe hum logo ko ekdam clearly pata chal raha hai ki 100 pesos mange the but kitne contribute hoge collect ho paaye only 70 pesos and 70 pesos is the amount that lencho received and he was not happy about it he was very grumpy about it rather because unhone lencho ne to pura calculate kiya hoga aur unhone exact honest amount hi dala hoga koi bada chada ke nahi bola hoga unko 100 pesos ki zarurat thi and that is the amount that he must have put in there so now what was he asking in the letter he asked for the rest of the 30 pesos all right so the letter was for god it was addressed to god and lencho was very angry and what had he asked to god he had asked to please give him the rest of the 30 pesos why because it is 100 pesos and no less or no more that he needed and he was very clear you know he did not uh, ask for 80 or 90 pesos in the letter he had asked for 100 pesos and he got 70 so the remaining 30 pesos which was left that is what he was asking to god and also there was one more request and this is the ironic part of this story because uh, you know normally uh, these kind of requests are made when you feel cheated ab kya request hai chalo pehle request pad lete hain he asked god not to send it through the post all right or not to send it through the mail why because he thought that you know uh, the the workers at the post office the workers the postmen the the different kind of workers who worked at the post office were one of the people who must have stolen this 30 pesos so now what an ironic situation this is right he doesn't trust he trusts god but he doesn't trust the people who work in the post office all right and what does he do he simply tells god to not send the money through mail or through the post uh, you know next time why because he believed 
that uh, you know these people who worked uh, you know the employees of uh, post uh, of the post office they were like crooks they were not good people and they were the ones who must have taken out that 30 pesos so now such an ironic situation because he has no idea that god did not help him in this case all right i mean god physically did not come and give that money to him what did, what happened it was the post it was the employees of the post office who had collected all of this money to give to uh, lencho and unhi pe lencho shak karne laga so it was a very very ironic situation here and uh, that is how this story you know comes to an end and through this you know there are so many things that we can learn you know there are these small tidbits that we can pick up from this uh, from this uh, beautiful chapter which is called a letter to god and uh, some of the things i have already discussed like for example the hardships that a farmer has to go through in his daily life you know it is not easy people might think that oh you don't have to study for farming you don't have to do degrees for it but you require a different kind of skill set you know to master if you want to become a farmer so it is not easy in fact it is i i would feel that it is much more tough job compared to a regular 9 to 5 you know office job because there's a physical uh, input required and you also have to be very very careful regarding when to sow your seeds and you know when to harvest it when are the monsoons coming you need to have all of that hard wire into your system to be able to be a successful farmer the other thing is uh, what we uh, you know took uh, the another lesson that we can take from this chapter is the faith now as i'm not saying that uh, you know you should have blind faith in everything but a little amount of faith does help you a long way when it comes to uh, bad times you know there are times when things are not going the way you have thought of or the things are not going the way you decided that is the time when you have to have some amount of faith blind faith maybe not that is subjective i am not going to go into it it was lencho's choice that he wanted to you know uh, have that amount of faith that unquestioning faith in god but some amount of faith definitely helps and especially during the times when things are not going your way so faith is a very very important uh, you know aspect of our lives and we should have faith in certain things we should have faith in our abilities to do things we should have faith in our family and of course we should have faith in god but not blind faith all right now the third thing is like the irony of the situation that i just told you like towards the end of the chapter we get to know that lencho doubts and does not trust the same people who actually contributed this 70 pesos and gave it to him and why is it it's very simple because he doesn't have any interaction with these people i think that he has not spoken to any one of them on a personal level he doesn't know them and the money was missing and where was the letter at when he had gone to collect the letter it was where it was at the post office so lencho being a simple person a farmer you know he didn't think too much usne seedha 2 plus 2 joda kya ki letter aaya tha post office mein aur paise kam hai abhi mere haath mein aane se pehle so definitely 30 pesos in logon ne chura liye we all know the fact that actually there was never the amount of 100 pesos was never achieved it was only 70 pesos that all the employees and postmaster you know after giving a part of the salary could collect so it was just 70 pesos but lencho did not know this so he distrusted the employees at the post office so irony ye hai yahan pe jaise ki main aapko bol raha tha ki hum log kai baar you know at times we want to do good for somebody but it is perceived as doing something bad all right so hum kisi ke liye bhala karne jate hain but ho kya jata hai usko lagta hai ki hum uska nuksan kar rahe hain and this is what happens in this story and uh, i hope that with that uh, you know um, all all the you know the whole story line is simplified and you know decoded right in front of you mujhe lagta hai ki you know maine as simply as possible is pure story ko aapke samne narrate kar diya hai and uh, you know if there are any more doubts you can uh, check out my live sessions that are there on youtube i have uh, a doubt solving session uh, that i have done on this chapter and that brings us to the end of our session today uh, we have completed a letter to god from top to the end it is done now and uh, 
इफ यू गाइज यू नो लाइक द वे आई टीच अगर आप लोगों को मजा आया मेरी क्लास में अगर आप लोगों को समझ में आया मोर देन मजा आया अगर आप लोगों को समझ में आया जिस तरह से मैंने एक्सप्लेन किया है Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe as well. So on that on that note, uh, this is the end of the session. This is the end of the chapter. A letter to God. I hope that this explanation is more than enough for you to you know solve all your doubts regarding this chapter. I will see you soon, very very soon. Next time. Until then, this is Arman Chatji signing off. Take care and have a great day ahead. Bye bye.